Welcome back to Blastman XS Gaming for another Division 2 build video. Status immune DPS. Impossible. Get, I'd say very possible. Jumping right into the build breakdown. And please hang on to the end for a link to the gameplay video. Starting with the start of the show, the backfire. SMG damage, crit hit chance, and magazine size, which has a talent of payment in kind, so dealing damage to enemies adds a stack of 1% critical hit damage up to 200 stacks lasting 10 seconds, so that's up to 200% critical hit damage. On reload, applies 10 second bleed to yourself, which deals 0.5% armor damage per stack. So that says to me, we need bleed resistance. Now this build here is 100% hazard protection. So that's every resistance, except explosive resistance, which, which is its own thing. The second hand is the rock and roll. This is the go-to weapon for building stacks. Shotgun damage, damaged armor, critical hit damage. The talent is perfectly extra, 50% extra magazine capacity. Now we're running Ninja Bike Backpack, which has the talent of Resourceful, slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set to item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set bonus. Can unlock bonuses for multiple sets. And this build, as you see here, we are running for two different gear sets and a brand set. So three pieces of striker plus ninja bike becomes four pieces. So we see it gives 15% weapon handling, 15% rate of fire, and striker's gamble. Weapon hits increase total weapon damage by 0.65% stacking 100 times. So that's 65% increased weapon damage. Now the extra talent on the chest piece increases the max stacks of striker's gamble from 100 to 200. That means you're going from 65% weapon damage to 130% weapon damage at max stacks. Now you'll notice that each of these pieces has uh, some weapon damage, hazard protection, or crit hit chance, or crit hit damage. Now the knee pads, we're using the Cavalier set. One piece becomes two because of ninja bikes, so we get plus 30% hazard protection off of that. And the holster is the Cheska, and we get two pieces because of the ninja bike. So that gives plus 10% crit hit chance, plus 10% hazard protection. We have weapon damage, crit hit chance, and hazard protection. For the specialization, we're running Firewall. One of the reasons we're doing that is because of the amazing uh, bonuses that the shield gives you. Not only do you have uh, one of the, some of the best shield mods in the game, but you also have the damage bonus per enemy. So that's 11% per enemy in front of your shield damage bonus. Let's move to the stats. Now we'll see that we're at 58% crit chance. We want to keep this high because the cap is 60 and what we want to do is build our stacks so we can get those crits so we can take advantage of the critical hit damage that the backfire is giving us. Critical hit damage on this build is 50% but once the backfire gets to full stacks we'll have 250% crit hit damage. Now moving to the defense, it's 1.3 million armor but this could be different based on your expertise on your gear sets and so on so please take that into account moving down to the protection so we have 100% hazard protection 100 bleed blind death resistance burn resistance disorient disrupt and snare poison shock all right thanks for watching the build breakdown and please click the link to the video at the end here for gameplay catch you in the next one